we are taking a look at healthy food trends of 2015. Joining us this morning, Executive Chef Micah Kaufman of the Milwaukee Art Museum. Good morning. Good morning, Jamie. Thanks, thanks for having well, me. Well, thanks for joining us again. We appreciate it. So this is the time of year people make resolutions. They say, I'm going to eat better. I'm going to do this. How can they go about doing that? That's right. Well, everybody's got to make their own healthy resolution mm -hmm. for their own bodies. Mm -hmm. But what I'm doing, my New Year's resolution is to eat less meat. Oh, okay. So I'm going to eat less meat, but I'm going to spend more money on the meat that I do eat. So get away, away from the process. Oh, okay. So the way I'm going to replace all of that uh, texture and all mm -hmm. that meatiness that I'm losing is I'm going to replace it with a couple things that we have here. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I have lots of color. Okay. So we have some legumes here um, mm -hmm. or some lentils and things. Um, those are great, really filling options, mm -hmm. especially for a lunch or something like that. Right. Um, some quinoa, which a lot oh, of people right, are really sure, familiar yeah. with. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this is a cereal called uh, Faro. Oh, okay. uh, that's really fantastic. It'll fill you up uh, and uh, provide you all the everything that you need. Oh, okay. And those grains, they'll give you some of the protein that you're looking for and everything, especially with the quinoa. And you said this is, these, these are lentils? These are lentils. Oh, okay. That's right. Chefs oh. call them legumes. Oh, okay. Uh, exactly. Uh, legumes. Exactly. Then. All right. We'll do what the chefs do. Great. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that there's plenty of color and you don't ne necessarily need things just like these. Mm -hmm. um, you can use things like cauliflower and mushrooms right. provide a lot of like meaty, earthy kind of texture and flavor oh. that'll trick your body into think that you're eating that filling meat uh -huh. without actually taking in that stuff. Oh, wow. Mushrooms. I never thought about about that. All right, we're going to figure out just how you can get all this together and make yourself a hearty meal. So, if you would like to see this recipe or learn more, they have an upcoming event of plating at the museum. Mike is going to fill us in on that and show us how to get all these healthy, colorful options on one plate. That's coming up. We've also put information on our website, wisn.com.